do you really need to be wearing a mask for this? Nobody can understand you when you speak without it. So how are we going to deal with you muffled? Well, I, for I was beautifully fashionably color coordinated between my t-shirt, my mask color. You don't like it? I think it's an improvement actually from the video version. I don't know about the podcast. <laughs> We'll have to get user feedback on this episode, the April 10th episode of Health in Two Points. Oh, oh. Are you really going to leave that on? Okay, okay. I'm going to take it off for the people who are lip reading. Well, yeah, which is everybody. Do you know how many people we've had request subtitles for you? We're still looking for a sponsor. So if anybody wants it on this, now is the time. <laughs> All right. Do we have a show to do, Mr. Massa? We do. But before we start, I want to tell everybody who is watching us here now that they should check out the interview that we did with Glenn Tolman yesterday. We did that one live. It was a co-interview with me and you and him. And there's a lot of um, state of play market stuff that Glenn talks about. And we made him put on his investor hat as an investor from Seven Wire Ventures. So he talks about the market and whether or not, well, as he says, I, I think the high risk investments are going to take it on the chin. So you better listen to that. Okay, I think your, your description to you is about longer than the actual interview itself, but that's okay. No, the interview is 25 minutes long. But yeah, trying to get a word in. Get your timer. Let's go. You want to do so much talking? Let's go. Okay. Ready? Ready? Mm -hmm. You good? Go. Go. All right. Air Doctor. This is an investment. 7.8 million. Matthew Holtz. Tell me about this, this one. This is one to match people when they're traveling with doctors on the ground. Uh, in auspicious time to be announcing that, perhaps. Yeah. And then I've got a list of telehealth investments. Okay. There's six of them. So yeah, but doctor, telehealth is like in. Go, yeah, go, totally. go. Doctor Anywhere, 27 million. Uh, Singapore and Southeast Asia are going to be big in that part of the world. There are a bunch of competitors, but, you know, a lot of cash pay there. All right. 98.6 gets 43 million. Yeah. This is more mostly sort of text to chat. Um, they're tripling or quadrupling the amount of people they're hiring like the next 10 minutes. Uh, that's, and they've they, they done quite well. All right, Tido Care gets 50 million. This is the device that you can shove up your nose, in your throat, whatever. It connects to telehealth. Israeli company. There's another company called MedWand, which needs, which won Health 2.0 launch about five years ago. Needs to get its arse in gear to compete with those guys. They're doing quite well. Digital therapeutics company SilverCloud gets 16 million. What the hell? It's not a bloody digital therapeutics company. <laughs> that that overtall Irishman is making it up again, or you are. SilverCloud is a really effective, good mental health. Uh, company, uh, Ken Cahill there has some really good d data on how much it's improved. Mental health people working in the NHS and now in the US. Hasn't raised that much money compared to people like Lira and Ginger, so do well. All right, Steady MD gets six million. Uh, some kind of startup weird niche pediatrics or functional medicine. Mm -hmm. I mean, telehealth is raining dollars. Why not? But hard to imagine it'll break through. All right, last one in this basket, Actia from Switzerland, six million. It's a blood, blood pressure cough. Yeah, another internet thing, blood pressure cuff stuff. There are a bunch of play people playing in this space as well. Maybe it's special, maybe it's not. Who knows? All right, those people got money, and now there's a bunch of people that got laid off. So status reporting, Verda, Halo Neuroscience, Anagram, Incredible Health, all layoffs. Yeah, I'm surprised a bit about Verda because they've you know, got that virtual clinic going, but you'd think that uh, the rest of them, everyone's going to be taking on the chain and conserving money for a while. All right, what about Rock Health? Oh, 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 I Ask the question. <laughs> All right, so Rock Health, now I can breathe. <sighs> All right, Rock Health um, released their Q1 fundraising report, 3.1 billion, yeah. and then it's like, there were like asterisk, 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 <laughs> well, and so then the bottom the asterisk, dropped asterisk, asterisk, asterisk part, right? Because, uh, in fact, uh, Moby Health News, it's interesting, because Moby Health News came up with a pretty similar number, like a day or two before, then Rock Health came out. Rock Health only does US-based ones, Moby Health does some international ones as well, so they had like Doctor Anywhere and some others in, the, uh, in there. However, um, the point is, right, so there's a lot of big rounds in this quarter. Um, the issue is, what's next quarter going to be like? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, and because most of that was early in the quarter. A lot of that was around JP Morgan week and early in the quarter announcements. A lot of this stuff who raised money, like folks like your friends at Cloud, our friends at Cloudbreak Health, if they'd raised it all. It was all done before the mm -hmm. end of February. Um, we had Glenn Tillman on, as he said yesterday, with his seven wire hat. He basically said, yeah, we're not going to do anything for a few months. And we're just going to keep our cash and make sure that our current investments don't die. Um, and you're going to see a lot of people die. 
and a lot of people not raise new money in the next three months just because people are so uncertain about the market. Having said all that, uh, the stock market is back up. It's well off its lows of like two weeks ago. And it's starting to come back up. We've got $2 trillion coming to the economy, another bailout coming soon. And there's likely to be, you know, a bunch more money for hospitals and small businesses. And, you know, the move towards remote monitoring and telehealth has been just unbelievably explosive. Most people are now completely switched over. So, you know, it's going to be tough to raise money, but there should be people making money. And if you look at the stock price, at least investors are thinking that there is some action going on in this space. Yeah, that's been moving up and down. Um, yeah, but it's been within the same like up, range. It's like right? two hundred percent for the year, and it's been bumping. You know. Yeah, but it's nonetheless a loss. A loss making company in this space, with market cap of more than ten billion. Lamongo's market cap's up over three and a half billion now. By the way, I know you interviewed uh, Maeve Mayf Mayf from Castlight. Their market cap now down below a hundred million. So. <laughs> It might be a good acquisition at this point. You know, available basically that's been the word on the street for a while, right? That Anthem would just kind of... Well, somebody's... Well, maybe they're waiting for it to come even cheaper. I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to see. Uh, put your mask back on. <laughs> You While I wrap way. this up. All right, guys. So that that interview that Matthew and I have been referencing, the Glenn Tolman one, check it out. It's up on the healthcareblog.com. Um, you can check out also some of the other great coverage that our, um, our writers have been contributing in terms of COVID-19 and impact on all aspects of health policy, the patient experience, providers are going through everything. So, I mean, lots of coverage up there on COVID-19 for you guys to check out. You can receive these health and 2.00s in your email inbox by subscribing to the healthcare blog's email newsletter. And of course, we invite you to follow Matthew and I on Twitter if you'd like to keep up with what we're doing every single day while we're self-quarantining. I'm at Jess Tomasa and he is at Bolty Boy. It's, it's, it's hot breathing in this mask. I went for a brief run in one yesterday. Wouldn't recommend it. I mean, it is recommended, but it <laughs> wasn't a lot of fun. Okay, so you can take your recommendations on COVID-19 care from either the CDC or Matthew Holt. It's your choice. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Health in 2.00.